Hey everyone, it's 2015. We're back within the field, and today we're going to Balboa Park. All right, so back within the field, we're going to Balboa Park. So I had fallen behind on a photo challenge that I was doing in 2014. It was a, a holiday theme for the month, and there were some uh, individual week themes. And uh, so I wanted to get out and shoot some symmetry and also capture some holiday feel. And uh, the Balboa Park uh, has this uh, festival of lights. They decorate the entire park with lots of different holiday things. And that seemed like a great place to go. There's great architecture there. There's a reflecting pool I know quite well. And uh, it'll be, you know, the buildings will be lit up in certain ways. So I headed out there early morning. Uh, before the sun came up. And, um, you know, well, let me just show you uh, where we were on the maps and uh, a little of the video from the shoot. Here's Balboa Park, just to the northeast of downtown San Diego. I'll zoom in here a little bit. You'll see the reflecting pond that I'll be shooting at. And, uh, yeah, there's you know, a lot of different uh, pieces of architecture here that are you know, very good uh, subjects for shooting. Uh, the sunrise coming up from the southeast really didn't matter. Uh, I wasn't going to be catching a lot of sunlight on this, and uh, as you'll see in a bit, there was nothing happening up in the sky, so clouds and things really weren't a, uh, a factor here. Let me move over to the maps. And so here's the park. Here's downtown San Diego. And let's zoom in here a bit. And, you know, so here is that reflecting pond again, and here's the botanical building that was the main point of my shoot. So if I zoom in here, I'm standing right along the edge here um, and, you know, shooting such such that, you know, I'm fully centered up getting as much uh, symmetry as I can. And uh, that's really the uh, the basics of it. Very, very simple setup, nothing elaborate, uh, nothing major to get in the way of a nice shot because early in the morning there's nobody else there but you. It's about an hour before sunrise and I'm set up at uh, the reflecting pool outside the botanical gardens in Balboa Park and taking some test shots you can see I'm set up here really tall I'm going vertical today and I really just want to make this about the pool and the nice dome and I don't know if you can see it on the video but I've got a uh, big old bird that's decided to do a little hunting or fishing I should say in the pool here and I'm waiting for him to move out of the way so I can uh, you know, get some exposures before the sun comes up. And then as the sun rises and the black sky starts to turn blue, I uh, suspect I'll blend a couple of these together in post. One other thing I'll point out is where am I focusing? So the reflecting pool and uh, Mr. Bird there in the lower corner, uh, I don't care about the focus there as much. That's going to be soft because the water's moving and there'll be a more shimmery, rippled effect on the building. But I do want the building in focus. The sky doesn't matter, there's not much going on, and there really aren't clouds, so that's going to be just a, uh, a dark solid color. So the street lamps you see on either side of the main facade of the building, I use those to set my focus on the camera. Used autofocus, single point, honed in on the light, and once that's in focus, uh, turn off the autofocus on the lens and recompose. So now my building will be sharp and uh, the rest of the scene will fall pretty much into place because I'm shooting at about f8. So the sunlight wasn't the important part for this shot. Uh, that was uh, getting there at sunrise or before sunrise was more about getting the blue hour. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get some magical ray of sunlight you know, hitting the, uh, this botanical gardens building. Uh, you know, there was nothing going on in the sky, there was no clouds, there wasn't any of that type of action going on. It was about getting the right color and hue in the sky. Um, so that bird that was in the foreground uh, eventually did move out of the way. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as soon as it moved away, the lighting on the building went off. Well, very sadly, the, uh, I guess the timers on the lights of the building just kicked in. And so in the previous clip, you saw a nice purplish glow around the building, and that is now gone. And it's unfortunate because the sky is just starting to turn deep blue. And I was left with, you know, a very cold, dank, boring looking building. And then the blue hour started to come in. So I stuck around, I left my tripod fixed in its position, and I took, you know, a few more photos as the skies became more blue. Uh, and that means I need to merge them together in post. 
So this is the image that I, I ended up with. And I'll do another video showing uh, what, uh, what the process was for blending these together. It was actually quite straightforward. So really, I guess, um, wrapping up for today, uh, you know, the, the tip or the, you know, the thing that I took away this week or reaffirmed for myself is getting to a site early, you know, getting there uh, well before you, your intended or planned time to capture. I knew I wanted to capture blue hour. I got there plenty early, and I'm glad I did. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gotten the lighting in the building. So that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got a question, comment, you know, reach out, send me a message, comment on the YouTube, anything you like, and uh, I'll be back again soon. Thanks.